Hello people, how are you? My name's Kev, this is Angling and Anxiety. It's all about the angling. That's about the anxiety. Right, welcome back everyone, and hello to all the new people who have come to the channel. Basically, this is going to be a beginner's guide to either try and catch a cod or not catch a cod. You never know, fishing's fishing at the end of the day. First things first though, from a beginner, um, I don't know about you, if you're watching this, a lot of you might be watching this, you might be brilliant at casting. I'm not the greatest at casting when it comes to sea fishing. So my plan is try and get to somewhere where you've got a little point coming out, so you're that little bit, you've got that little advantage um, before you've even started fishing. Also, you've got to go to the fish. You can stick in the southeast or stick wherever you're from. If there's no cod there, there's no cod there. There's not a lot you can do about it. It's one of them things. Um, it, it can't be helped at the end of the day. So what you've got to do is, first things first, go to the cod. Everyone knows the north, the northeast is covered in cod. There's a lot of cod up there. Um, no guarantee you're going to catch them because fishing's fishing, like I said. But there's a good chance that you could get one up there if anywhere in this country. You've got Norway directly opposite, which is renowned for big cod. Um, and you haven't got trawlers smashing the water as well, which is also another benefit. Um, I'm just going to go and have a go, really. I'm going for 24 hours. I'm going to start off right up by Newcastle. I'm going to make my way down. And I'm just going to see if I can catch a cod. This is just basically, I'm going off the Google Maps and Navionics, and I've asked on a few of the pages, and I've got a little bit of local knowledge. It's just, just, just asking people, really. Just ask people. People are nice to help. Social media is a brilliant thing when it comes to people helping you out and giving you a bit of a, a sort of a heads up and a, a uh, an advantage before you've started and stuff. So, happy days. I've now got a six-hour journey down to Newcastle. It's going to be pitch black when I get there, but. He who dares rodders, he who dares at the end of the day. I'm not gonna know, I'm not gonna try, I'm not gonna catch them if I'm sitting at home thinking about catching them. That's the bottom line of it. Um, once again, last night, couldn't sleep. Barely sleeping again, because you know you go fishing, you know what it's like. But yeah, get ourselves down there. Um, in a minute, it'll be pitch black for you guys. I've got a long journey ahead of me. So, see you in a second, off we go. Oh! Right, just like that, it is midnight, and we are at Blythe Pier. Um, I've got to walk quite a way and I'll show you. The sea is rolling in. There's the lighthouse over there. Um, this is a, it's on the, the tide's on its way out now, so yeah, it's quite, quite an eerie place to be honest with you. I've got to go right away along here. I wouldn't like to come here when it was high tide because I don't know how how far along this comes, do you know what I mean? Um, like that, that tide, this is three, three hours after high tide and that water's up here quite a bit so the tide's going out that way now. Um, so yeah, I've got to get my gear ready and I've got a long walk down that way and hopefully it'll produce a fish. <laughs> it's quite eerie to be honest with you, I'm not going to lie, it's quite eerie. It's not what I expected, it's not like you see on Google Maps. Which is, which is always a way sometimes. But uh, I'm gonna get me walking boots on, get my jacket on, and go and chuck a rod out. So here goes nothing, I suppose. All right, so just getting your final bits together, making sure I ain't forgotten nothing. So I've got a fair old walk. I don't know how we're gonna do them, camera quality, guys. Um, I've got my head torch. I've got everything. That, possibly do bring as much light into the place as possible but uh, I can't guarantee it's gonna be great but, uh, we're having a go aren't we this is a beginner's guide at the end of the day so this is all about learning um, learning as you go they're doing all right there's a little pup along the end there next to the jetty. Right. I've just found a fish there, a little codling. Someone, one of the fishermen must have left it. Oh really? I've given it to it, but I don't know if it eats, if they eat meat or just milk. That age, it's only that big. Oh really? Yeah, I tell the harbour master about it. He said the environmental agency know about it. Is the jetty it. open, is it? You can walk underneath it. I don't yeah. know if the jetty's open to walk along. Right. But they, 
the pups, just the little seal pups next to the way you go underneath. Cool, happy anyway, days, mate. Good Thank you very much. Oh well, if the jetty's not open, people, the jetty's not open. It's worth a go. Got some stony ground here. Sand, that sea is aggressive. It's cool about the little uh, little seal though. I'm travelling as light as I possibly can. Um, but yeah, I don't really fancy fishing off the beach. I don't think it's, I don't think it's very deep. So if the jetty's not open, well, I don't know, we're gonna have to reassess the situation, I think. But uh, yeah, you gotta do these things, man. Took me seven and a half hours with going to get bait. But it's all about the adventure. I'm out here on my own. It's good fun. As long as I keep it safe. It's all memories made in it, and that's what all fishing's about, man. Tomorrow, when I've got a bit of daylight, I'll talk you through the rigs and stuff from an absolute beginner's point of view. Um, yeah, let's see how we get on, really. I'm going to get myself over to the jetty. Uh, I'll see you in a sec. <laughs> All right, we've got the jetty here, people. Saint tells me I could have parked a bit nearer. <sighs> it's a long walk, a long jetty now. Ah, things we do, eh, for a bit of fishing. This is spooky. I think that's a torch coming up here. I'm not 100% sure. I think it is. That's what they say. Don't say I'm not allowed to fish. Does that look quite devastating? Oh, that wang, that rain, mate, is savage. Fully savage. Straight in your face. First beginner's tip is try and go when it's not raining because you get very wet. Honestly, this is like the house on the haunted pier. <laughs> There's a couple of our visits. Alright, I'm going to get the rods out. See you in a second. Here's the thing, right? The guy has been up here fishing. He said he had six cod, but he's took a whiting home. <laughs> oh, it's a different land, isn't it? A different world. There's a few anglers up here by the looks of it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get me, get me set up. Right, that is both rods out, and I've learnt a valuable lesson. I've lost half my Ron Thompson accelerator down the side. I've only got half a rod, which is annoying. I've got a cheap little uh, Linie F Vinor Vigor for it's set to save a day. But uh, yeah, not ideal. I've got one out of the three with flap oil worm and one with squid and black wraps. So yeah, a bit of a pain in the bum to be honest with you. Not great as the starts, but what do you do? What do you do? Hey? It's raining hard, right on my face, but I'm out here, I'm doing it. So pray for the fish. Tell you what, this old pier don't feel safe. Oh, there we go, got a knock on that rod. That was a nice knock. That's in the free hook flapper. It's got little lugs and little lug baits on that one. My plan was to have one out on the lug bait and a small one on the free hook flapper and then two out on bigger baits, but I'm half a rod down, so that's not possible. <coughs> Ed Talks is doing the job, though. But my god, does this pill feel ropey? You can feel it rocking underneath his feet. Look, look, look. There you go, fish on. What do you reckon? Fish on? Yeah, fish on. Well, it was on, I think. It's not now. Or is it? Yeah, I think it might be. What have we got here, guys? 
not too sure what you can see or if you can see anything I didn't chuck that one out far either nice light rod this one nothing to it Fish on. What is it? Probably a white one. Yep, a little widen. Oh no, that's a codling. Is it a codling? Yeah, it's a little codling. Get out. First cod. <laughs> Yo. On a little bait. See that? Unicorn. The miniature version. How cool is he? Yeah, sweet. Happy days one Dan. Get this little fella back. Let's try and get another one. Bigger one this time. Well that ain't bad going guys. It was only a baby, but it's a codling. And that is your idea of this, is to show you how to catch codling. Free it flapper though, just free it flapper, common lug. Jobs are good and hopefully something comes along a bit bigger. I'm feeling that the rock marks are going to be for the bigger fish, if that's the plan of action. Because um, <coughs> I am going to get the smaller fish with the worm, smaller worm baits at the end of the day, that's what they're eating naturally. Um, there's a nice roll, the fish seas rolling in nicely. <coughs> that's what the old, I'll tell you what, they're a funny old bunch around here, honestly. No offense to anyone who's from around here, but they're just very, very <laughs> dumb, they just sort of look to me like I was alien. When I was trying to talk to him, but uh, yeah, happy days, mission complete. Now I just need a good one. I'm not casting that far because I find that the lug comes off the hooks when you cast it far. So I'm just literally chucking it, just a little overarm flick in the hope that it stays on the hook. The weather's still horrendous, been here for about half hour now, so I've just had a couple of little knocks on the left rod again on the free up flapper. Nothing on the right one so far, but time will tell, won't it? Hopefully, the rocky marks tomorrow bring a bigger fish. Oh, the right one's knocking away. Don't know if that's my eyes then. That right one definitely looked like it was knocking away. Knock, 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 knock. The only thing with this left rod is, it's so soft, it's just a cheap rod. But it's called a fish sofa, so I can't complain. I've got my little girl on the phone, she misses me. The boy's got two folk, it's all going on. And I'm bloody up the other end of the country. Happen. Ned torch is running out, but we've got a bite on the left rod. So, see what we've got. On the, uh, on the worm again. Doesn't feel substantial. It's a fish. What do you reckon, cod or wine? There we go. Oh, it's a little rock bin. A little bearded, bearded rock bin. It's not a target, but it's a different species, isn't it? Just get on it. Weird sluggy little things these are. Getting back in the water. Don't know what's up with my TED torch, it ain't charging. Which is bloody annoying. Straight in the lug. Free lug. I don't know if you can see this, but tiny little looks new fruit flappers. Slide it up here, like that. Onto the next one. 
sometimes it's the most basic ways of fishing that do the job. You can have your pulley panels with your squid and your bloody wrist that and the other. And the common old lugworm does the business. Oh, look, head torch is gone. Pain in the bum. Don't know what's up with it. It's a long night out here without it, that's for sure. I'm using my phone torch. I'm going to chuck this out there. Right the say. Not, not a far cast. We're in the deep water here anyway because we're on a pier, like I said earlier. It's good to get the advantage. I just wish this bloody head torch would stop playing up. It's always something. It wouldn't be angling anxiety unless there's a drama of some kind. Could have bought some batteries really. It's a chargeable one, but sometimes they'll charge and don't do the job. Oh, it's not. Because it wants to be a pain in the bum. Real down in this one. Get a nice bend in the rod. Happy days. Got a certified bite on the left rod. Just read it in to see what it comes off. It's so wet out here, man. Wet and cold. Got still there. Switched over to blacks purely because, well, if there's anything on there, it ain't very big. But yeah, the lug keeps coming off, like I said earlier. So I switched over to blacks in the hope that it might stand the hook a bit better. They're a bit tougher, blacks. This weather's horrendous, mate. Honestly, so bad. Definitely looking forward to the daytime fishing. No, nothing there. Gone. Still got my brakes on. Chuck it back out. That's annoying. Sort that. Good for that. They're all hanging on there for dear life. So for a fish. Rods are back out. One of the anglers has just gone. I think there's one left up there now. That's what I can see is one, one up there somewhere. Can't see it. They all sound Scottish, but we're not in Scotland, we're in, we're in Newcastle, but not in North England. But they all sound Scottish. It's weird. That codling was a promising sight, first thing as soon as I got here, but it's been quite quiet. Little rockling whiting, been here about an hour and a half now. It's getting wetter and wetter and wetter, I know that much. Absolutely soaking wet. I've managed to lose my knife down the crevices of this pier now as well, just to add to the uh, pain in the bum. My head torch seems to be going strong at the minute. Don't know what's up, don't know if it's a loose connection or something really, to be honest with you. But yeah, tip number one, make sure you uh, you don't lose things down the sides, <laughs> down, the, down the gaps in the pier. Because it can be rather annoying. Especially when it's something like your knife. Do you know what, I think I heard it plop as well, which is, makes it even more annoying. <coughs> and I need a white on the pulley pen off with the squid and blacks. I've just changed over to bluey and squid wrap. So, we'll see. We will see, people. 10 out of 10 for dedication, are we? The guy who was meant to be coming down, Craig, is on his way, I believe, so 
he's coming down from Kent as well, so he's going to be here at about four in the morning. By four in the morning, I'm pretty sure I probably would have had enough for the night and want to go and get a couple of hours kit, but we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Everyone's going home, man, so don't like as much going on with them. But I've, I've had a little coddling, so, so that's my first short caught coddling. I'm a free hook flapper. Fingers crossed. Just about cross them because they're wet and cold. We will catch a big fish. I've just not long switched over back to commons again, back to the common lug. Just had a nice solid bite on this left rod with the commons on it. I didn't chuck it far. I just literally just flicked it basically. I just had a nice nice bite on it, but it seems to have slackened off again now. It's not it's not um this obviously isn't hooked. Just leave it and hope it comes back. I mean it could well be on there, it could be a small fish, but you'd, it would have made some sort of that's such a light rod. It's very cheap. Um, it, so it, you'd, you'd, you'd like to think it would be knocking away if it was on there. But yeah, seems to have uh, just literally as I've got the camera out, went quiet. Always away. Right, I'll bring you back in a second. Did just come back, but as soon as the phone comes out, <laughs> quiet again. Come on, just have it, will ya? Probably on there. I'm gonna start cutting out my narrow head torch. Bloody typical, honestly. The rain is hammering it down. Just spoke to one of the locals, the last angler left on the pier, and he said that the last two hours down and two hours up is the best fishing. He said it should start picking up now. I hope it's raised. You're wrecked with the rain to stop, but it doesn't look like it's going to stop anytime soon. I wish it would. The rain soaked through. Dear. We'll try again in a minute. Absolute devastation, people. Had an absolutely slamming bam, bam, bam on this left rod. Had the fish on, got it down here, and lost it in the pier somewhere. Devastated, man. Good fish. Head wobble and all. It was a definite cod. I'm gutted. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm gutted. If the guy said it was gonna switch on two hours on and two hours off, uh, two hours down and two hours up and to be honest with you it seems to be picking up I've just had another whiting on the other rod um, my torch is still playing up which is really annoying me um, still no still no dry I still absolutely soaking wet um, and I'm, I've not got a million and one I've not got many uh, lugworm left to be honest with you uh, I'm sort of running out they're both I'm not chucking either of them very far I'm going to have to try and find a tackle shop tomorrow. What have we got here? Well, that's an empty rat. So this one here is a full one. So I've got about 20 lug left until tomorrow. And then I've got to try and find a tackle shop. Annoying, man. It's bloody annoying. It is what it is, though. I'm going to chuck my head torch and charge for a minute because uh, it keeps flickering at me. I'll tell you what, I'll leave it on for a little while. But yeah, there's an organised tackle, tackle box. Can't believe I lost a knife either. Oh, I'm soaked, honestly. So wet. Yeah. It is what it is, isn't it? Who dares, Rodders? That's what I say. Gutted about that fish, man. It's probably still down here flapping about, which is unfortunate for it and for me, but what do you do? What do you do? <sighs> Frustrating. Neither of them literally not chucking that far at all. Here you go, look. It's definitely switched on a bit now. But yeah, this, that's, that's a good fish, man. Good fish. There you go, look. That's not that's not as that's just knocking, but honestly, like <laughs> that last bite man. I'm devastated to be honest with you. 
don't know if I've told you or not. <laughs> it is what it is. All right, let's get on fishing. <laughs> Just had a little codling and he's gone down a gap. He wasn't big anyway. He's about the same size as the last one, but this does make it any less annoying. <sighs> get these rods back out, she's active now. Not the big cod we want, but a little species, another little nice little dab. So a bit different, isn't it? The weather's still absolutely hammering it down. We've got a big, big bait out on that one. Um, I don't know what the time is, what's the time? It's two o'clock in the morning at the minute, so still got another two hours of downtides. This is meant to be prime time, but yeah. All covered on the bottom up on the on the lug. Got about 15 lug left, so <laughs> let's hope we can find a tackle shot tomorrow because it's definitely the, the, the chosen bait. Happy days guys, happy days! Good little scrap that was on the light old gear. Scrappy little 40 pound sea rod. Done me well. I'm happy with that. And that is going to be the one that comes home for dinner. And the rest of them are going to be going back. But yeah, on the lug baits again. Sweetening up, man. Big old mouth on it. Really little cod. <laughs> yeah, man. Happy days. Mission complete. I'll tell you what, I've braved, I've absolutely braved the elements out here, man. Properly braved the elements, but yeah. Happy days, got myself a cod, got myself a good cod and all. Ah, oh, I'm so happy. You can't see my face, but I'm so happy. <laughs> Honestly, so, so, so happy. I was nearly at the point of thinking, you know what, I'm going to go back to the car in a minute, but yeah, no. Got myself a keeper. Lovely. <laughs> Beginner's guide to catching cod from a beginner. Perseverance, get wet, drop your rod down the pier and get some baits out. I actually chucked that one out closer into the shore. So they're definitely coming in. For those that don't know, cod come in and they eat all of the grub. This is obviously, you can't really see it, but it, it's really rolling. Um, so all of this water is being smashed up and all of the stuff, all the unturned worms, anything, any fish fry, any, anything that's food is being unturned by this rough weather. So the cod are coming in and they're picking up all of the rubbish for basically the worm, anything that's edible, these fish are having it. So that's why they're coming in close. Um, and it is possible for a beginner to go and catch cod. So happy days, just need the double figure one now. But yeah, sweet as that man, I'm buzzing. Really am buzzing. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot more of this in 2022, a lot more of sort of um, fishing from a beginner's point of view and going to, uh, making things happen basically going to show that you, you you haven't got to have all the flash gear and loads and loads of knowledge to go and catch the fish that you really want to go and catch um so yeah it'll be uh this will be one of many sort of beginner's guides as it were and i'm teaching myself as i'm going i'm learning as i'm going and hopefully you can take something from it as i'm doing it as well so happy day is going to get this one in the old coolio box sweet as a nut <laughs> buzzing just check the other rod guys Another codlin. That one was on a big, big bait as well. Big smelly bait. So, ha <laughs> ha, man. So happy, so, so happy. Hey, <laughs> on my own. It's all paid off. We are so happy. I've, again, I've cast that one inshore, so that's the trick. I'm gonna chuck it straight back out. Get it straight back in shore again, really close to the uh, coastline. And hope for another, for another one, gonna get this one released. Making my way back to the motor. Oh, see what? I can't wait to get that heating. Step one of a little adventure done. Oh man, honestly, I'm so unfit, it's unbelievable. My torch has completely run out, sort of hanging off my head at the minute. Um, yeah, I just hope my car's still there. <laughs> Unfortunately, my car doesn't lock. This is a 
proper fishing wagon. Stinks of fish and doesn't work, doesn't lock. It's got me to bloody no car for that. Where are we on to next? A lighthouse, I believe. I think. Or I might go South Shields Pier. I'm not 100 percent sure yet, to be honest with you. Really not. Just hope I can get some worm. Really do. I really hope I can get some worm. They're definitely feeding on the worms. It's not to say, well, I've had one on the on the fish bait, but uh, they're loving the worm. I reckon blacks are doing the job just as much as uh, as commons are. But uh, yeah. See, so rolling in on the left. The weather looked just perfect. I didn't want my lines and my, my everything getting buried, but I needed it to be a bit chopped. So, yeah. So far, so good, man. So far, so good. It's late 2022 yet, yeah? and the adventures are starting. Oh. I was just missing my little girl. I'm missing my little boy. He's texted me. He's got two fake. Got my phone for Christmas. He's got two fake. Um, so I felt quite. I don't know. You know, like you get a bit homesick, don't you? But got to do these things sometimes, man. But yeah. Get myself back to the motor and warm up. See you in a sec. Back in the car. Not quite warm yet, but we're back in the car. Look how wet I am. <laughs> Stupid idiot. Who didn't bring waterproofs? Me! Put my cart jacket would have done a job, but he hasn't done a job. It's not ready for that torrential sea rain. Oh, my tracks are about that. Soaking wet. Stupidly wore jeans underneath as well, so they're just soaking up all the bloody, uh, all the water. But yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move down, down a bit. Uh, maybe stop at South Shields Pier. Get a few hours out of now. Um, just because I want some sort of easy fishing until I've got worms really. Not easy, just like I want that advantage of having a pier. Um, Dump a live pier now. Move down to South Shields. Um, there is tine mouth, I was looking at tine mouth, but you're not allowed to fish it, so I'm not gonna hit I'm not gonna hit tine mouth. Um, you're allowed to fish south 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 shoes and tiredness is starting to kick in. But yeah, that's 20 minutes away from here, so gonna make a move, get myself down to there and then probably put my feet up for a little bit of warm-up, get maybe an hour or two sleep, and then uh reassess the situation. So peace out, fingers crossed for another cod. Let's go. Well, I've had an hour's kit. Still a little bit damp. Bleh. You know, like when you go to sleep and you think, was that the greatest idea? I definitely needed it, but. Ah, uh, was tired. Time is six o'clock. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to pull myself out again soon. I think I might get another half hour or an hour. And then take the long walk along South Shields Pier. And have a go. But yeah, for now I'm gonna get them some bobo, so. I'm awake, I'm awake. Don't worry, I'm awake. Ready to do some fishing. I've had to come and recharge at the Golden Arches. Ah, little bit muffin, double sausage egg muffin with extra bacon and brown sauce, and a latte. I'm still bloody wet. These jeans were the stupidest idea I ever had in my life. My top half dry. My jacket seems to be quite dry. Um, my bottom half's wet, damp, and miserable. But it is what it is. I learn for next time when I. If you're watching this and you're going out, don't wear jeans. Oh, oh, very, very, very tired. I ain't gonna lie, I'm bloody tired. Um, but I'll be alright. 
Just gotta love myself up a little bit. See how the day plans out. Just sail seals for a little bit. Try and get some bait. Time is now. It's time. 6.28. So another couple of hours and hopefully a tackle shop will be able with some bait. That's the plan anyway, that's what I'm hoping. Um, yeah, see what South Shields field, uh, Pier's got to offer. It's gonna be, I don't know where to fish in it. I don't know. I don't know. Just gonna get on there and chuck some baits out, I think, and hope for the best. Tell you what, this is weird. I haven't seen nothing. Look, as much as you can see on that camera is as much as I can see. Well spooky, man. Proper spooky. That side over there looks to be broken up and really uh, rough. This side here, not that you can see it, it's quite smooth. So I'm assuming that this must be some sort of breakwater. I'm not 100% sure, but it looks rather snaggy. Yeah, that side there is chucking up. Looks like there's a gate of some kind coming up here. Question is, can I get on it? In my luck, I can't. Big rig, you can fish it out. But this gate's not looking promising. It's a thing when you travel these distances, man, it's all just guesswork. They do. No, do you know if they open them at that gate? Do they open it? No, not the gym, not the sea on. No. No. Ah. You came and hold it though. Yeah, yeah. Is that what you're doing? Oh, oh yeah, fuck it. I'm with you then. One's out with a big, massive squid bait, a whole squid. I'm going in hard. It's going to be hard fishing here. I'm going to need something super smelly. I don't think you can see it yet, but I can a bit. This is, uh, this is rolling in nicely. I think my soft rod is going to struggle, but I'm going to get it out in a minute anyway and have a go. I think it's going to be super snaggy as well. These waves rolling and the monsters. Can't see them. Not on the camera anyway. So you clear up soon. But yeah, uh, I think it's going to be snaggy, so I'm going to leave it out there 20 minutes, see if anything comes of it. And then, uh, yeah, just reassess the situation. Craig's still an hour away. I've left a few bits in the car that I need as well, which is annoying, but I ain't walking back. Gonna get the other rod set up and chuck that one out and just hope for the best. 
Right, so I've got my turret flapper on. On here. I've got a slim squid and black bait. And then on the bottom hook, I've got the last of the commons that I've got left. I reckon this is going to get swallowed up by the seas, to be honest with you, because it's such a soft tip rod, but I'm going to chuck it out and see what happens. You never know, something might have a surprise. But it's starting to brighten up again, uh, brighten up now, so. <coughs> it's not much job even where it was at Blythe. Um, I don't know, it just seemed a bit more aggressive. But yeah, let's get this, uh, hopefully this bad boy goes off with a whole squid on that'd be nice. Whatever's going to swallow that up, it's got to be a good fish, so. Time will tell. See, this this is what I mean about the soft tip. That this is why you don't drop your half a rod, half your rod down the side of the pier. You can see it a bit better now, though, can't you? Every now and again, you'll just get an absolute whopper that comes in. I mean, I'm not remotely in danger. It's just. Daunting, do you know what I mean? It's quite daunting. You can see it rolling in on shore there. If ever I've seen a bit of cod with her, you see this now. So, All right, plenty of anglers out. They've all seemed to go out that end. Whether that's because I'm fishing on top of the snags, I don't know. But time will tell, won't it? Either way, it's been a successful trip at the end of the day, as far as I'm concerned. I've had a cod. I bet that bottom's swirling up massively. I've got quite heavy lids on. Trying to roll bottom. Don't even know if you can be able to hear me properly. That's rock, rock, rocking away, that one. A little bit more like a bite, but big wave coming as well. Just can't tell. I'm going to check this one and then uh, yeah, I'll let you know what the video is. You don't, if I don't say anything after this and you don't want to fish. <laughs> well, the turn out there was... Snags. <laughs> that was quite close in that one though. If you look along this wall, this sea wall, I think I'm probably going to check that other one and if that other one snags, I'm going to knock this one on the head. Because, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't fancy losing those again. On to the next mission, I suppose. Where that'll be, I don't know. I might go Whitby Pier. Don't know. Well, the one that's further out, and the stiff rod, is not too, uh, sorry, just a sleeping lens. Not it's gonna make much difference. Yeah, the one that's further out, oh, it has made a bit of difference. The one that's furthest out, which is the stiff rod, um, I'm not eating snags in that. Well, at least I didn't hit snags that time. So I'm gonna give that another chance. Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure what to do to be honest with you. It's because I'm tired, because I'm tired, they start to wear out on me a little bit. Um, I'm, f I'm thinking of easier options. Like, this is quite challenging now. Um, so yeah. I don't know, I don't know, I really don't know. And I need to go and get worm, that's the thing. I need to go and get worm, so I need to be. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to, to move on to Whitby Pier. To move. I don't know. I don't know where to go. I really don't, but I need to get some worm. That's the bottom line of it. Um, I think I'm going to give it 10 15 minutes here. See if anything produces on that rod. Then move, get back to the car. Um, and sort of go from there, really. And just just, just make, a, make a plan when I get back to the motor, I think. Yeah, very eerie down here, proper light. Don't know. Strange, very strange. Yeah, little bait wrapped up, ready to go. Need some worm, man. Worm's a killer. But if, I've, if I'm not caught another fish by about one o'clock, I'm gonna knock on the head and go on. But yeah, for now, let's see what this big bit of squid does. Right, I'm calling it a day, people. My bloody rod's stuck together. I can't undo my rod, which is really annoying me. Um. I'm not calling it a day for good, I'm just calling it a day for real. I'm going to go back to the car. Um, I'm going to try and sort some worm. If I can sort some worm and 
happy days if I can't, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do, to be honest with you. But, uh, I'm going to make that decision in a little while. Might go back to Blythe Pier, not 100% sure yet. You can see the waves rolling now, though, can't you? She's rolling in lovely. Well, <laughs> I just asked three people walking along if they can help me split my rod. And it just don't separate you. This is why angling and anxiety is brilliant. It's just, <laughs> there's always something. I think it's just fishing in general, but um, I, I, I do get a certain amount of bad luck. Brilliant. I don't know how I've managed to stick my rod together. I've had this rod for two years and never had the problem. Bloody typical. I've got to hope that I can get a 13 foot rod in a car. <coughs> nah, it's not going to be fun. Let's just hope I can get in next. If you don't, I don't really know what plan B is, to be honest with you. But the longer I walk along this pier, this side over here is flat calm. But there's a lot of people fishing this side, but I don't know. Maybe they know something I don't. As I've seen it when it was, there was lots of rocks down here. So, it's asking to get snags, in my humble opinion anyway. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna go and get some worm, man. Try and get some worm. Hopefully get some worm. And then who knows, might end up back here, I don't really know. I really don't know. See where the day brings me. I could quite easily go home. I'm bloody knackered. My kids are not well. My missus is not well. Realistically, I probably should go home, but I've drove seven hours and only fished for about seven, so it just seems like a bit of a waste of time. But if it needs to happen, it needs to happen now. We'll see what happens. I'll see if I can get a worm first. Well, if that ain't, if that ain't angling anxiety, I don't know what is. <laughs> oh, honestly. What a, what a palaver. Still smiling though, man. Still smiling. I think what I'm going to do is go and get some worm. Um, and then maybe go sleep for a few more hours, catch up on a bit of kip. And then fish blithe here again at low water this afternoon. Um, cut the hours down. Maybe cut those back up, just depending on how tired I am. Uh, Yeah, I can't believe that rod. I really can't believe that bloody rod. What a nightmare. I'm having mares of rods today, aren't I? Uh, uh, wouldn't be a beginner's guide, would it? If I didn't have dramas. There you go. All right, let's find a tackle shop. But it's all eerie and dark. It's not even nine o'clock. There you are, let's find a tackle shop. Get on our Google, Google with your friend, find a local tackle shop and get some bloody worm. I've said it once, I've said it 50 times. Woo! Cold, but I'm hot. Right, I've got my worm. Got some fresh blacks, uh, some frozen blacks and some fresh luck. Um, and I've just found a little spot. I'm not 100% sure I'm allowed to fish it, but I'm going to fish it. If anyone minds, then I know not to fish it. Do you know what I mean? It's a learning curve. There's not any no fishing signs. So, you know, I can sit in my car and fish, which is happy days really, because it is raining outside, I stink of damp. I'm gonna man Blythe Pier in a little while, but in a minute I'm not getting out of this car. I'm far too wet, I end up making myself ill. But yeah, I'll show you. That's my fishing spot. So, hopefully I can fish it. <laughs> That's what it is, isn't it? Just chuck it out, see what happens. See if anything comes of it. Fishing one from a car. <laughs> oh, it's too cold, man. Honestly, it would be so bad if I didn't get so bloody wet. But <coughs> I just literally chucked it out. I've not chucked it out far. When it hit the water, it's like I could see the colour. The water was coloured, so that's good. Um, see what comes of it now. Maybe nothing, but. Just a little gap filler until Blythe's open for me to dry off a bit. Right, back to the first destination. It's now the final destination. Uh, you can see it a lot clearer now. I've had to resort to putting my sliders on because I've got blisters for days. Um, <coughs> it hurts a lot. Here looks quite quiet. 
which is handy. I'm going to get very sandy feet and I don't care. Sea's still rolling in nicely. Don't think it's rolling in quite as much as it was uh, early hours of this morning when I first got here. But even so, the water will be coloured. Which means the cod should be there. I've got three hours until low tide. I'm fishing it three hours down and maybe one up depending on how I feel. I'm super tired, I'm deteriorating. Um, if you look at me at the beginning of the video, then look at me now, I'm broken man. <laughs> but yeah, solo adventure. Beginner's the guy out of Cat's Cod, man. Got loads of lug, just gonna put lug baits on, put uh, three flappers on both rods, and hope for the best. Um, yeah, sorry it's a bit long and drawn out the video. I've just tried sort of taking you on the adventure, do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, let's get over to the pier and hopefully get cod. Happy days. <sighs> but if anything, it's been a good bit of exercise. It's nice to go to different places in the country and in the world. It's just it's nice to see different things. Although we all live in one cult country, cultures are are different, you don't realise. It's crazy. I call worms commons, but blow lug commons, you know what I mean? Um, up here, they don't, they've asked me if I'm trying to buy carp. Uh, so, just shows you, man, different lingos, different boats, you know what I mean? It's different. I'm poggered, I'm talking waffle, but yeah, get these rods out anyway. Right, so three hook flapper, bottom hook, I'll put three worms on. Just makes it a little bit more juicy. Just put them on, slide, put one on, slide it up, put another one, slide it up, put the third one on, leave it just so it's hanging, the hook's hanging out. Second one, two, third one, two. Just an overall flick, nothing over complicated. Going for about here. Don't really matter, you're obviously that far away from the beach. Don't be trying to chuck it that way, thinking that's where the fish are gonna be, because I've proven this morning that it's not. They're coming in short to eat the food. So chuck it out in front here, vary it around, find it wherever you've got to find the fish, you know what I mean? Both out now. This is a two hook flapper, three hook flapper. What I've learned on my uh, little beach fishing adventure is, when you cast it out, don't really straight away to try and get, try and get the tension on the rod it just doesn't work, you just pull the lid out, you have to sort of, I'm leaving it for a couple of minutes, then going back to the rod and then tightening up, and I'm getting a nice bend in it, so just a little tip there for beginners. But yeah, let's see if we can pull another cod out. Be nice, but and essential. Little dab, not the cod we were after, but a little dab nevertheless. And off it goes. Still looking well now. Yeah. Back out there. Well, it was quite quiet. And I wonder why. There's my little mate Seal. I wonder if that was his son this morning. I never actually saw him. What was going under? He he's literally trying to catch this right where I'm trying to catch this, so it's not ideal. It's fattened off, but the water's still coloured, and I'll tell you what, it's half. It's an half cold. <laughs> it's an half cold. It's still rolling in on the beach. But yeah, it's flattened off quite a bit. There's a few other anglers. They all seem to cast out that way, honestly. Fishing that way, it gets you the fish. Everyone else blanked in there this morning. So, I don't know. I think it's in your head to automatically cast as far out as deep as you can, but. They're coming in, in shore for fish, do you know what I mean? They're, and if you look at all of, all of the birds and stuff, they're all diving down here, the seals here, the fish are here. They're not out there. Not to say you won't catch them out there, but just that's just my opinion. <sighs> and that is it, guys. It wasn't out to be. The water was too flat. One of the locals comes along and he fished it yesterday um, in the daytime, and he said it was really choppy. He had 11 cod in, um, biggest was about three pounds. Um, and he reckons even when the water's dirty, if it's not rolling, they don't come in close. So, don't know. But, but be, be, uh, 
be all be all important two hours before the end of the ebb. It didn't work. It just it weren't the same. This morning when I was there, early hours, like sort of last night, whatever, my brain's pickled. Um, it was active, do you know what I mean? I could tell it was active. Fish were fight, fish were biting, fish were feeding, and I was catching fish. But no, nah, it, it weren't meant to be. Um, this afternoon, it's been quite hard to go and day really, as you can see by the state of me now compared to the state of me before I left. I put the work in, <laughs> but yeah, it's been productive. Um, sorry if you find the video a bit long. It's just I tried bringing you along with the the. Um, the journey as it were do you know what i mean um got some cool adventures coming up very soon so don't forget to subscribe and like yeah click the little bell so you get the notifications i do quite a few lives and stuff um and right now i'm gonna get myself home get myself washed because i smell like an old dog that's been left out in the garden for about three weeks and yeah get something to eat go see my family so thanks for watching i hope you've took something from it um, like I said, I'm a beginner at the end of the day, and it's a beginner's guide from a beginner. Uh, I'm going to be doing a common skate off a shore trip very soon. This year, I'm going to get a double figure cod off a beach. I'm going to get a poor beagle for chalk, over £200 off a beach, and I'm going to get a common skate off a beach. You may laugh, but last year, I said I was going to get a poor beagle, a fresh art, and a tuna, all in a little boat. Did it happen? Yes, it did. Angling anxiety, baby. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, check out the social medias. Facebook, Instagram, actually forget the Instagram, don't know what's going on with that account in a minute, but Facebook, 24 hour help surface, people struggling for mental health or just generally asking for a chat or fishing tips, um, so yeah, many more adventures coming up, hope you've enjoyed, take care everyone, love yous.